Hello and welcome to a follow-up video of commuter train wreck. Edmonton's LRT is going to hell. Fellow Edmontonians and anyone, anywhere, where public transportation is being used for purposes other than, hmm, transportation? We have a problem and after more than a year it hasn't gone away despite more security guards and a new community outreach program. If you haven't seen the original video, I'd like to encourage you to watch it. I made it last year after riding the LRT and witnessing some disturbing abuses. Basically, I concealed my little action camera and then rode the train besides getting in and out of a few stations. The video hit a sore spot with many and it has over 25,000 views so far, presumably many of them locally from Edmonton. I had so many comments that I lost track. Most of them were encouraging, but there was also harsh criticism. I've gotten some threats too, and a couple of interviews with Global News. Well, so far, one really, but the second one is coming. Why me, I was wondering. Okay, I'm a big fan of the LRT. The idea of a train that can get you anywhere in town, fast, is awesome. We're also getting a brand new train very soon and everyone paying taxes or rent in Edmonton is paying for it to some extent. Even if you've never ridden the train, you need to know what's happening. See, I don't really ride the LRT that much. My wife and I use it together when the weather is not good enough for safe cycling. When I got this recent call from a global reporter, my first thought was that something bad must have happened on the LRT. Every time that's the case, I can see an uptick in the number of views my original video is getting. But as someone who rarely rides the LRT, I actually feel like I'm somewhat out of the loop. To be honest, I'm glad not to be dependent on the train, but since my videos seem to get a lot of attention, I'm willing to speak out on behalf of those whose voices aren't being heard. It's not fair to spend hundreds of millions of dollars of our money and claim that it will provide clean, efficient and affordable transit when this is not the reality. Well, you might ask now, how could I possibly be a good judge of that when I don't ride the transit regularly? Much like last year, I decided to ride the train again with the camera rolling. Actually, I tried very hard to do an even better job at this. As you will see, I failed miserably. But let's get right into the essence of it. Here are some scenes from riding the LRT in the past few days. Now please note that this is not about the individuals shown. Let's not condemn those who end up here because of circumstances we know nothing about. Okay, I watched a James Bond movie once and that taught me everything I needed to know on how to conceal my camera in a way that it would work perfectly. I figured in my code would be perfectly stable and level so, so I could get the best possible footage. Now, did I really need to conceal my camera like that? I'm on my way to the LRT, the Coliseum station. And what I want to do is like, take some footage of the train ride, see what it's like. Anyway, it is what it is. Don't expect any miracles, but I'm going on the LRT with a concealed camera. Oh, look at this kid. Where's the security guard? Well, he's busy somewhere else. Well, finally, there's the train. Let's go riding. Next stop, stadium station. What a beautiful, relaxing train ride. What is all the hype all about? It's beautiful. Well, not so fast. Keep watching. Okay, there's a Nate train. Let's try that one for a change. 
Again, uneventful ride. And now I'm at a platform where there isn't possibly anything happening there. Look, security is there. This outside of downtown. Why did I come here? See, the friendly security guard is even showing somebody the way. Doesn't get any better. All right, it's cold outside. Let's go in there and warm up. Oh, now there we're talking. Look at this guy. What's he doing? Ah, uh, a crack pipe. How wonderful. Uh, if the security guard is okay with it, then everybody else must be too, right? So yeah, there's uh, definitely a little bit of a crack house in one of the uh, shelters. Back on the train. Two normal guys, one passed out in the background. Now I'm getting off at Central Station. That one is smack in the heart of downtown. Almost sure thing I'm gonna see something that I don't really wanna see. But maybe today I do because I'm making a point here. All right, let's go up there and like watch this hallway. Like there's, you see that? There's a, a body. No, it's not a body. It's actually a human alive. Another one on the floor. How come? I'm no expert, but I would speculate that they're probably close to overdose territory. Hey there. Yeah, so I'm driving all the way to the Clareview station today. That's the uh, first time in a long time we do that. But now let's see what's like. Yeah, you probably already know what it's like. There you go. Well, if you think this kind of filming is bringing me any pleasure, you're way off the mark. But the point needs to be made. Here I'm back at Coliseum station. I'm done. But I got the camera rolling, okay? So... Yeah, there's these uh, hallways down there. You never know who you're going to meet. And those huge, call them the evil stairs. All right. Now, see, this is the picture I'm going to leave you with. A couple of bros exchanging their crack pipe. Isn't that nice? So I, I did ride the train for probably an hour, maybe more, hour and a half. And I could definitely tell you that the LRT is a magnet for people in trouble, people with addictions. And in a way, Edmonton right now is abusing their LRT for enabling, yeah, it's enabling drug use. And that's not what the LRT is for. The LRT is a transportation system that's supposed to be safe for everyone. It's supposed to be one of the most attractive options for transportation that we have. Right now, it's not attractive. There's drug use on the LRT where it shouldn't be. If you want to ride the train, well, I wouldn't recommend it. If you must ride the train, be careful. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go back home now. As you can clearly see, the LRT is not safe to ride. Would you like your kids to be there? The new LRT expansion won't be safe neither, unless some drastic measures are taken, and I will explain in a moment what I mean by that. First, I'd like to mention a blog by my city councillor, Ashley Salvador. It's important because Ashley is in an influential position and she's aware of the issues. The blog post begins like this, and I'll quote, Public transit is an essential service, and in order for it to be successful, Edmontonians must feel safe using the system. I've heard consistently from constituents that safety and security on transit is a concern and barrier to increased ridership. She acknowledges that there is a problem, but then it continues with the following words. While the vast majority of riders do feel comfortable, we've seen a decline in perceptions of safety over the past few years. Uh, I've got a little problem with that statement. Just ask the vast majority of those who commented on my original video. I don't know if Ashley Salvador rides the train. What do you think? To me, it seems like she's downplaying the issues. That's too bad because the problem won't get properly addressed if all we're dealing with are the perceptions of a minority. 
However, something is in the works and I'll try to explain it here. For better understanding though, I'd recommend you read her blog. There's a link in the description below. The new transit safety plan will coordinate strategies between the City of Edmonton, the Edmonton Police Service and the Bent Arrow Traditional Healing Society. Quote, the tripartite leadership committee will focus on coordinated strategies and responses, as well as immediate support for Edmontonians using the transit system for shelter. Ha! I'm all for that. If it means that, as of now, immediately, no one is going to use the LRT for shelter. For that to happen, we have to create a lot of shelter. We also have to create places where those addicted to substances can do their drugs, even if we don't like what they do. Just think about it, if we don't do that, we'll lose more than just our LRT. Addicts are desperate, and they'll take what they need. Am I wrong? They already have taken over our LRT and many places surrounding it. Let me ask you this. Do you think a community outreach program run by seven members is going to fix this problem? Here's what's being implemented. The team is currently made up of two transit peace officers and two Bent Arrow Traditional Healing Society outreach workers. COTT is aimed toward increasing safety and reducing harm. The Transit Safety Plan will increase the number of COTT teams to seven. Teams? COTT stands for Community Outreach Transit Team. Well, if you don't believe that, please contact your city councillor now, and most importantly, your MLA. I'm suggesting that the city alone is not equipped to solve the problem with our transit system, despite all good intentions. The problem is not really a transit problem at all. The LRT and the transit system is just where many of the issues are very noticeable. We have a huge narcotics crisis on our hands with thousands of lives wasted every year. This is costing us dearly. Alberta is one of the wealthiest provinces. We have the means to deal with this. We should not have people with untreated mental issues and addictions destroy our public property. Public assets such as our transit system. We have the means to deal with this. The problem is that our so-called leaders prefer not to. I normally make adventure videos. You might enjoy those too, by the way. If you'd rather watch people destroy themselves with substances, I don't really do that so well. But thanks for watching. And if there's anything you'd like me to tell the Global News Reporter when I get interviewed, please leave me a comment. I need your help.